everybody, Abby here with Scrap and Abby, and yes, I'm back with yet another haul video. Sorry, ladies, I had a really good streak of uh, feeling some um, pretty mid to low level pain, so I thought I'd go out and hit a couple stores, and I just have a bunch of stuff that I wanted to share with you all before I put it away. So this haul is from Beals, and I threw the sack, oh, I don't have the sack right in front of me to share, tell you how, um, show you what the sack looks like. I was looking to see if any of this has their name on it, but it doesn't. But it's B-E-A-L-L-S, I believe. I'll put it here in the edit. But it's kind of like a TJ Maxx slash um, Marshalls, but it um, seems, seems to be only here in Central Florida or in Florida, I'm imagining, because it was not in Oregon. So I found a few things, and I wanted to share it with you, but it's mostly stuff for my daughter. Shocker, yes, I know. It's not all stuff for Abby. So some of it's crafting, some of it's not really, but I promise you it'll segue into that realm. So I found um, these. I've hauled these before, I think, quite a while ago from Ross or somewhere. But they had them um, for $2.99, and these are some... Um, Jumbo push pins from Once Upon a Rose, and I have a really cool crafty idea that's going to tie into another tutorial that I have slated on my crafty planner slash schedule, so I can't um, talk about it too much because I don't want to ruin that video when it comes up. And then I found a couple more packs of napkins. These are so cute. This is going to be for um, using for my um, paper napkin transfer technique. Not mine. I didn't come up with it. It's been around for forever. But I did a paper napkin transfer tutorial video, which I will link below in case you did not see that. And these will make some really beautiful um, cardstock background and on canvas and things like that. So I wanted to grab those. And then I found this at the checkout. This was on clearance for $2.79. It was originally $9.99. And I would have paid 10 bucks for this, but I'm happy to only have to pay $2.79. So this is Bible Promises of Comfort and Encouragement. And I love the fact that it's purple and all the pages inside are purple. And so what this is, it's um, like if I, you know, let me find one specifically that the reason why I got this is related to my trigeminal neuralgia, which I do talk about on my channel. So this is kind of give you the tie in of why I'm sharing this with you. Um, let me look here real quick. I had it marked, but then I lost it. Where'd it go? I'm going to pause the video for just a second because I want to find the selection in here of why I bought this. Give me just a sec, ladies, okay? Okay, ladies, I'm back. Sorry about that. So the chapter I was talking about is strength. And um, there's actually quite a few chapters in here that are really applicable to my... Um, my journey with chronic pain that I have, because um, it has been completely life altering. And um, so I liked the different scriptures. So if you want to read about strength, you would go to this part in the book. And then there's several different, um, you know, scriptures and verses that talk about strength and stronghold, things like that. Because I have to look to God every day for me for strength to get through the day because of the level of pain that I have. Um, I try not to you know, I'm not trying to preach or do religion on my channel, please don't think that's what I'm about, I'm going to do now, but I would not be me if I didn't share this with you ladies, because I do have ladies who follow me who I know who also are Christian and, you know, follow God, but I also um, am talking about my trigeminal neuralgia journey on my YouTube channel, and this is part of that journey, and it's in the hall, so that's the caveat of why it's in here. So this is, has a lot of really good um, points in it, and I'll just kind of show you this really quickly in case you want to pause the video and write this down or anything, so there, I don't know if there's any, um, if this is going to be every single Beals or check your TJ Maxx or check your um, Marshalls, places like that, Ross, but this is who it's from if you want to pause the video and write that information down. And if you want to try to look for this online or something, if this looks like something you would be interested in. For me, it's beautiful. It's perfect and it's purple. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then um, this was in the paper stationery aisle. This is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that that floral on there, that graphic. It's just beautiful. This is 12 note cards in envelopes. And being a crafter, I don't typically uh, purchase pre-made cards because that's what I do. It's I, part of my crafting is I make my own cards. And um, But this was gorgeous. It was um, $3.99, which I thought was a good price for everything that was in it. These are the different note card images. Soft petals, 12 note cards in envelopes for any occasion. They're blank on the inside, I believe, and these are just beautiful. Oh, this one just, I love it. So, so beautiful. So I wanted to get these 
couple reasons. One, because I thought they were a good price. Two, they're purple, which is my color. And it's very kind of vintage, you know, kind of shabby-esque looking, Victorian looking. And then I love the way that this opens up. And Abby's going to scrap lift this idea. And I'll create a tutorial for you ladies. And I'm going to make it into some type of mini album or journal or something like that. And then so I wanted to kind of have this for the template. And then also because these cards are just beautiful. So I'm going to pull them out and share with you what they look like. If I can get it open. Here we go. And this is the first one. And this is a really good size. Let me tell you what size these are real quickly here. So just so you can see it with me. Let's do it on this side. These are roughly six. Looks like they're six by five so six by five cards so it's a nice really good size you can do quite a bit of writing i'm really getting into the pen palette again so these are blank inside so you have a really blank canvas to write whatever and then there's another design down here i believe this one here this one's so beautiful i love all of that imagery right there there's that one and then there's this pattern here which is they're all beautiful i don't really have a favorite they're all absolutely gorgeous i think and then the last one tell you ladies I miss my acrylic nails so bad I can't really grab anything it seems and then here's this one here this is probably my least favorite of the four it's still beautiful but I like the other three much better so I thought these would be great to use when I am sending out I like to make cards obviously because I'm a crafter and when I send out racks or giveaways or happy mail friend mail whatever you want to call it um, when I'm sending orders to customers of mine who purchase something or I just want to send a letter to my mom, my friends back home in Oregon, whatever the occasion. Sometimes it's nice to not always have to have the pressure, not that it's a lot of pressure, but have to come in here and make a card if my stash is low, which it is because we moved and all that. But um, it's nice to have some cards already ready and done. And these are beautiful and they look like me, I think, because they're purple and they're just really my style so I grabbed these so I could just use these to send out letters and things like that to people so I just wanted to share that with you that I found these I did not see them the last time I was there and um when I found a few things but these are really beautiful so I liked them but they're really nice to have and then um this my husband laughed when I showed this to him he was uh, got quite the giggle but I don't care I think it's worth every penny this was only a dollar ninety nine and it's the fuzzy wuzzy microfiber blind cleaner and it's a machine washable cover, which is awesome. But I have to tell you, ladies, probably one of my least favorite chores when I do housework, which isn't very often because my husband does a lot because of my pain. Um, cleaning the blinds is the biggest headache to me. Getting in between the blind, the slats with the what, you know, the cording, it's just a mess. So I thought this was really cool, and I'm going to give it a try. And um, these are, you can pull this off, and you can't because it's got the zip tie on there still but um you could pull this off throw it in your washer and have it clean and use it ready for the next time so i thought that was kind of cool thought i'd check that out so what's left here in my stash these are this is all for or my haul excuse me it's for my daughter's room she is almost 17 her favorite color is teal black gray and she likes kind of like the coral pinky kind of color she has been in oregon with her dad visiting for the summer so she has not moved to florida with steve and i yet she will be here july 25th today is july 16th i have just about a week which was my time frame to get her room put together for her because i wanted her to come here and have her room all set up and ready to go because she gets she has registration for school that same week and then she starts volleyball tryouts the week after and then school so i wanted her to not have to focus on trying to get her clothes and everything hung up and put away and blah 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 and um you know because we're going to be taking steve's taking some time off of work so we can go and do some fun things with her because she has not been here yet so the point of all this of me telling you this is because this is going to i promise you get into the crafting realm because i'm going to be working on some fun crafty projects for her room this week which i will share with you i will take you along on that journey with me so i thought these were perfect to use plus the fact you might want these for your own purposes if you've got kids going off to college or moving out on their own for the first time or you just want to organize your room craft room whatever this was $7.99, which I thought was a good deal for this. I've seen these kind of things much higher at Bed Bath & Beyond and Target for sure. And um, it's a 10 shelf closet organizer and I got her two of these so she could put these in her closet for her shoes because the closet at this house is not, she had a walk-in closet before. 
in our temporary home that we're in now it's a brand new construction beautiful home but the closet is not as big in her room as it was before so the shoe rack that we had for her won't fit so we're going to put that in the garage for you know outdoor shoes and whatnot so i got this for her and it just hangs over oh you can't see it because the price tags there but it's just got a little loop of fabric right there and that's what hangs over the rod in the closet so i got these two for her for her shoes which are mostly going to consist of flip-flops, I can guarantee you, once she gets here. <laughs> and then I got two of these under-the-bed storage bags, and um, these are perfect for her to put in, like, all of her hoodies. She collects hoodies. Some people like to collect postcards, stamps. My daughter's, one of her collections is hoodies. She loves hoodie sweatshirts. And so my husband travels for work, and so he always goes and gets her a new hoodie wherever he travels to different states. And um, she gets them when she goes on vacations with us and with her dad and just whatever. So she has quite a collection. I convinced her to keep some of them back in Oregon because she's probably not really going to wear hoodies every day here like she did back home. But I know she'll want to bring some with her. So I thought this would be perfect to store those items in as, long, um, as well as her sweaters and things like that. Her dresser sweaters. This is a um, six shelf closet organizer. So I thought this would be perfect for her to hang in the closet as well because it is big enough for all of these things to hang plus her clothing, but she doesn't have as much space. It'll make sense when I show you the video. Um, but anyway, so I thought this would be perfect for her to put like her shorts and um, you know, her bathing suit, her volleyball stuff, you know, some of her, um, you know, tank tops that she wears underneath other shirts things like that instead of because she's not gonna have a dresser here because we're waiting until we buy our home and we're gonna go to Ikea and all that kind of stuff and buy furniture to fit that room because this is not our permanent house so I don't want to buy furniture to fit a house you know that, that we're not going to be in for more than six months to a year just to explain that why my kid doesn't have a dresser. <laughs> that sounds like I'm a bad parent. This was $7.99 and this is an over the door shoe storage. So she can use this for additional shoe storage if she wants to, or she can put her all of her socks and underclothes, things like, not her bras of course, because those have to go in a basket. I have a basket for those, what I meant to say, but like her underclothes and, you know, her volleyball, um, what do they call those things that they were uh, spanks for volleyball or anything like that. This kind of extra storage on the other side of the door that is in the closet that way it's just a little bit I'm not wasting space I'm getting the most out, out of that space that I possibly can so this is kind of what really um, prompted this entire makeover for me actually that's not true I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna go grab something that'll show you what started this whole process be right back Okay, ladies, I'm back. Sorry for the choppy video this time. So this is a paper from Studio Calico. It came in my, um, one of my kits I've had, I've purchased in the past. The name is High Rise, in case you want to try to find it yourself. Um... I'll put this up here in case you want to find the or pause it and write down the item number. This came in a kit. I think it came in one of my Coco Daisy kits or something because they use Studio Calico papers in their collections. And that's the back side. So I pulled this out when I got my kit of the month at that time, which was about mm, six months, a year ago. And I looked at it and I was like, gosh, this is beautiful. It's the New York skyline. My daughter went to New York City and Washington, D.C. as part of her eighth grade field trip or eighth grade class trip. And she fell in love with New York while she was there. She has, um, you know, said she wants to go back someday, you know, so now that we're on the East Coast, it's closer for us to get to New York than it was when we were in Oregon because it won't, you know, we could either A, drive if we want or we could take a plane, a flight, and it won't be as expensive because we're not going across the country. And then also when she goes into college and stuff, you know, she might wind up in law school in New York. I don't know where, she, where, where she'll go. But she wants to go back to New York, and I'm confident that she will for sure. So she loved this. When I showed it to her, I go, Kaylee, come here, let me show you this picture. And, and she's like, oh, I like that, Mom. That's really cool. And I said, so I said, I don't really want to craft on that. I said, I think this needs to be framed. I couldn't bear to cut this up into pieces or anything like that because I think it's just beautiful. I think it almost looks like a photograph, like a piece of art to me. And she liked it as well. Plus the fact, if you notice, it has the teal going through it and it goes into kind of the corally pink and there's a little bit of yellow right down here but it's the color palette that she really likes and she likes black which in this part of the photo is black and white so and it's New York and it's something that she loves so I thought this would be a great piece to kind of um build around her bedroom as far as like the decor and color palette things like that so this stemmed this for me and, and I've had this before I even knew we were even going to move here so um this I thought would be really cool. So you're going to see when I get to working on her room. I don't want to spill the beans on every crafty thing I'm making. But I have some really fun projects that I'm going to put in her room that she will like that are relatable to her. 
and that she will use and they're actually functionable. So I'm looking forward to doing that. It's going to keep me busy because I'm, um, you know, really an getting antsy for her to be here. This is the longest we've been apart since she was born and it's been hard, but I know the time home with her dad is very important. So, um, you know, we're just really excited for her to get here already. So that's one to share with you ladies where all of this stuff came from. So I will probably briefly reintroduce the story when I do the video next week, just to kind of you know encapsulate why I'm filming this because I don't typically take my camera in the other room and you know do stuff in the room and then why I'm filming or whatever I just kind of crafts in my room so but I'm gonna be doing some crafty stuff in her bedroom so, so I'll need to take the camera in there anyway with all that said I just want to let you ladies know about my haul from Beals but again you can probably check t your uh, Marshalls or TJ Maxx's because I promise you a lot of the stuff in there is the same kind of stuff I saw when I was in Oregon at Marshalls and TJ Maxx so I just want to share that with you in case there's any deals or anything I shared that you saw you might like so thanks very much for sticking with me again I apologize I had to separate the video on a couple clips like that and I will see you in my next video so happy scrapping happy crafting and happy planning and as always, I appreciate you ladies very, very much. And I appreciate your support and always sticking with me and letting me vent to you and share with you about my struggles and tribulations with having a chronic nerve disease that will never go away despite having brain surgery and everything else I've done. So it's it can be depressing and um, I'm starting to get emotional. So I'm going to backtrack and just say thank you so much, you ladies, for you ladies. I'm um, doing this and sharing this with you. It really helps lift my spirits a little bit, a lot a bit. And um, it's just a big part of me feeling better as best as I can. So I appreciate that. And thank you, ladies, very much. And I mean that very sincerely. So I will be quiet now, and I'll let you ladies go. Bye until next time.